Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim and we're on Valgero again. Gonna go looking at the best spots for starter bases and resources. But what I've done, I've sort of combined the two. So like you find your starter base and I've done it so that right nearby there's a chunk of metal and all the resources you're gonna need to get started and progress. And first off, we're gonna go to Boreal Forest Zone 3. On two of these locations, I've found really small caves you can actually build in. So it'd be, you know, a really great place to start, I think. There I am on the map, what are we at? 51, 71 on the spawn. So I thought I'd do it like, as, as you actually start the game, as you spawn in. And you can and like show you from the spawn point to where the area is. So here, uh, just on the right hand side there, you can see there's like a bit of a ramp in the hill coming up. Um, if you follow that up going round, there's a gravel path just in front of us now. I was just wondering what that dinosaur was doing. Yeah, so get to the gravel path. We're at what, 50, 70 there, is it? Something like that. And there's a cave here, just in the cliff face. And I checked, I've turned um, building in caves off. So these little spots that I've found should be okay to build in. put a few foundations down just to double check but it's a decent size area this actually for a good base and outside it, the land's like relatively flat as well so you could put like a main base outside and have that as like storage or something and then just above us you come up that, that other ramp there on the right you come to a whole mountain side of metal metal stone wood uh, water's not too far away just on the coast and there's crystal up there as well. Didn't see any obsidian, but still, it's a good place to start. Right near the green obelisk as well. Right, next spot, we're heading to Chalk Hills Zone 3. Pretty cool spot this as well. Got some new terrain to look at while you're leveling up and farming, whatever. Thing with this base is if you're heading to the actual area where we're going now there's a small cave and everything if you spawn at one or two you you won't get round to it what are we at 75 76 roundabout when you spawn there bottom right hand corner and we're heading for that archway over there on the left hand side if you go straight down this valley you just end up in a pool and you can't get up to it same with the other two spawns, uh, one spawns you in this like, it's like a pool with an island in the middle, um, but it's below ground level and there's all rocks over the top of it. You can find a tunnel out of there, but once you're down, um, you're in this valley system and not one part of it comes back up to where you want to be. You end up almost right the way back, back round at this spawn. Yeah, you're probably going to get jumped by a raptor or whatever now and again. So you need to be down on that level there. So I was just looking for an easy spot to jump down. This whole area is a bit of a pain to navigate on foot, to be honest. But making this run round when you first spawn is well worth it, because it's a really good spot. So now you're down here, what you want to do is keep that sort of plateau that we were facing on the right hand side now keep that on your right all the way around so there's the archway we were heading for so go past that and i think the spawn for zone one is further along down on your left here we are 80 72 roundabout Yeah, just keep running, trying not to get, trying not to get killed. Uh, on the right here, this ramp and this gravel path that heads up to where all the metal and crystal and everything is. And the base location is just round the side here, 
So you've got that U shape in the in the cliff face. A couple of dinosaurs around there. I know it's a couple of allosaurs as well. I think there's a few up on the metal, but it should be fine. And that land is like completely flat again, right outside the cave. So good good spot for a base. You could build some like cliff platforms up on the cliff face, and have maybe uh, you know stairs going up between them, so you can just climb straight up onto where the uh, all the resources are later on. But this cave you can build in as well. It's one of the first ones I found. Yeah, I think it'd be good living out of one of these caves. You've got like eco mods if you ever checked her stuff out. She's got like all these primordial eco mods and these like cave dwellers and ones that live in the sea and stuff like that. Um, you know, if they were ever going to really like cut the game down to a really primitive state, not like Prim Plus where you've still got like medieval type of things, I mean like where you've got like stone hatchets and you literally living like a caveman. I think that'd be good for a couple of servers, be a laugh. Yeah, so if you come out your cave and go left, like I said, go to that ramp and you've got that gravel pathway, it brings you up here. And this is all metal and crystal, stone wood, all your resources you need. There's Dodecarus around and Ankurosaurus as well, if you want to sort of tame them, then you've got everything you need to go farming. Good spot. Right, next one is Small Island which is the first spawn on your right hand side when you get to pick. It's right on the edge of this redwood forest. With this one when you spawn, um, just behind you there's another one of them gravel paths again that I've been going on about. Um, but they're really good to sort of navigate around, you know, to keep an eye on where you're going. If you follow that one right the way around the side of this sort of cliff face here, you come to see where the ground goes sort of darker brown on the right hand side and there's a ramp there you can get up and you come to this sort of ridge going across the top and that's got metal and crystal from like literally one end to the other and obsidian as well so I was thinking with this spot if you get up here on the left hand side there where you've got the trees you can build a base there and you, everything is just really really close all you've got to do is like wander up the hill and everything's there uh, there's water down on the left and back on the coast uh, yeah got a supply crate drop there as well getting attacked by giant ants here hang on yeah, so if you follow the path round, you can see there on the left, that's how you get up onto that area. And if you follow the path back down, you actually end up going back into the main redwood. And there's a little river system there. Just get rid of this ant. I'd, I'd put it on slow-mo and then put the speed up to 20. Just so I could fly around a bit quicker. And then I noticed this pull over. This is like a day in the life of one just running around trying to murder and eat everything it can find and getting harassed by compies. Art life. I like them things, they remind me of bunny badgers. The redwoods aren't the best idea probably for starting off when you first spawn but it's worth you know persevering and, and getting the first little base up just to have that, all that resources so close to you. Right last one is the Beach zone one. And this is another one where you're gonna have to make a little bit of a run. 41 38 when you spawn. So you'll spawn somewhere around the coast here, and then you can see this ramp here going up where the it turns into sort of a grass. And you want to head up there. This should be a pretty easy area to find when you first spawn. Um, even if you don't spawn anywhere near this ramp, if you just head back inland, there's a big river system coming past. Just as you get up here now. Um, I didn't run this one because it's a little hard to see everything. You know, you're running through the forest, you can't see sort of what direction I'm heading and stuff. So I just sort of flew above the river to show you. So you want to get to this river and just follow it. And we're heading north. doesn't look too hard to navigate that terrain on foot 
and there's not many predators around this area as well. Not that I've seen anyway. So I see where I am there on the map. It's at 39.41, it's about halfway to where we're going. If I was going to pick one of these spots to live myself, I'd either, well, I'd either go for the Chalk Hills or this one, I think. I prefer to live in the forest, I like breeding bears and stuff when I'm, when I'm playing properly. And there we go, you get to the edge of this little mountain here, and the whole thing is surrounded by sort of small, what do you call them, balconies, offshoots. You know, going round, you see where them brontosaurus run them over there. And um, these metal and resources right the way around the whole area. And then on each one of them as well. So I thought if you could build a base down there, further down the mountain, as you sort of progress and then you get to like, um, don't know, you know, taming your flyers and getting pickaxes and stuff like that. You should be able to get up here easier. There's one metal spawn on the top of here, but this uh, area where I'm stood now is really flat, so I thought you could have your main base up there when, once you finally sort of progress that far. Got a view out across pretty much the entire map from here as well. So there we go, that's the last spot for now. Yeah, I thought it was an okay little guide that. I hope it helps a few of you out on you when, when you first spawn. Uh, yeah, because everyone's got to start pretty much fresh on there, haven't they? Until you can start downloading all your dinos and stuff. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, check out the rest of the channel if you get a chance. And yeah, thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting and sharing. I will catch you later.